I struggle with the job I'm in and have tried to shift it. Not sure why nothing has happened. Feeling unhappiness where I am. What in your life makes you happy in the midst of that? What can you do to connect you back to a frequency of joy? I mean, is it playing with your animals? Is it hanging out with your partner? Is it gardening? Is it singing? Is it dancing? Is, what are the simple things that you can do to connect you more substantially with high vibration? Because if you can connect to high vibration, which is just another way of saying God energy, which is love and joy and excitement, if you can connect to that more every single day, it's magnetic. You feel it. You're feeling in that state. And it's the feeling that's the secret. The longer you're in that state, the more the subconscious can create from that state. But if you're spending your time bummed out at work, and I'm, you know, I don't know what's going on with that, but if you're spending your time bummed out at work and then you come home still bummed out about work, bit, bit upset about it, and you take that energy into the rest of your day, well, you're expressing from that. But if you came home from work or before you went to work or while you were driving to work, you turned your interest on things that are lovely and things that are pure and things that are joyful, things worthy to be praised. If that's what you do when you're not in that space, then your subconscious can create the conditions and experiences to get you out of that space. But if you're not spending the time feelingly in the right energy, subconscious doesn't have the time, space, or ability to do that for you. Does that make sense? So for those of us who are underwater, or maybe just have our head above water, like life is bad right now, it is of utmost importance that we find ways to connect and feel something loving. This is what I founded the Bliss Discipline on, which somebody very cleverly called the bliss discipline, <laughs> which is essentially get a notepad out and write down 10 things that make you happy. They don't have to make you burst with transcendental expansion and joy, but just happy. Maybe it's cooking. Maybe it's gardening. Maybe it's singing. What are those things? Know what they are because every day you come home and you do those things. You do them for a period of time. You sit at your piano and you play. You get in front of your canvas and you paint. You get into that alignment and you feel that. Now the subconscious has some space. Also, next week we'll be talking about sleep. And we spend a third of our life in sleep. And if we prime sleep the right way and we work with the subconscious and with the conscious aspect, we can use that entire time to create what we want. So do stay tuned for that and come back next week because that's what we're going to be talking about. Join me this year at the 2019 Bliss Retreat in beautiful Loveland, Colorado. The Bliss Retreat is a four-night, five-day, blissed-out extravaganza where there will be sacred ceremonies, spiritual workshops, and nightly services with me, Crystal Ann Compton. Go to theblissretreat.org to learn more. I hope to see you there.